Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're doing something a little different. Usually I review activewear on this channel but today we're reviewing a scrub brand. I'll be reviewing fig scrubs and as you can see I have a lot of them. This review is totally unsponsored. I don't have a code with figs. I purchased all of these with my own money. I have a ton because I'm a dental student and I have to wear scrubs every single day. And now that I've been a student for about half a year now, I'm very slowly wearing more of my figs and less of my other brands. I've tried so many different brands of scrubs and the only two that I've actually ever purchased that actually fit me were the Grey's Anatomy, like the Barco brand and figs. And I definitely prefer the figs. A lot of scrub brands only really look good on people when they have really stick thin legs and I definitely have more of an athletic build. I have kind of a lean upper body and I do have pretty muscular like thick legs so I carry some weight in my legs so it seems hard to find scrubs that kind of flatter that body type and I literally hate the scrub tops that like kind of like do that fit and flare like hourglass look because it's just like not flattering on me for some reason so I just like how the figs look. I have like four different pants from them and I'm only reviewing one top because I've tried a couple of their tops and this is by far my favorite one. Figs is definitely one of the more expensive scrub brands, might even be the most expensive, but they do often have sales. I got a lot of this for 30% off. They have a couple of different 30% off sales throughout the year. And in my opinion, if I'm going to wear something every single day, I'm gonna buy the cutest, most comfortable ones. And that just happens to be these for me. Obviously you can tell I like them, but I definitely have a few things to say in terms of sizing and the fit of some pants. Some pants work better for me than others. So stay tuned. I have a lot of the figs in the graphite color and this fabric isn't quite as soft as the other fabrics. This one is a little sleeker. It's a little less stretchy too. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe it's because of the marled material. So I definitely recommend the other solid colors. This is the only fabric I've tried from figs that is a little different. All of the solid colors have been basically just as soft as this one and these are a little stretchier and super, super soft. In terms of the fabric, the fabric is listed on their website, but it's a polyester rayon spandex blend. Don't be fooled by the spandex. It's really not super stretchy. Like it has a little bit of give to it, but I definitely would not call the figs fabrics stretchy. I also wouldn't say the fabric is entirely waterproof. Sometimes I spray myself with a little air water syringe. Dentistry is hard, okay? And it will stay there for a couple minutes, but then it dries off really quickly. So it's not like waterproof or water resistant, but it does dry quickly. And it can definitely show some sweat. I've definitely had pit stains on myself and I've seen my classmates with pit stains. I mean, it's normal, like it's fine, but it's not gonna hide those. Also, all of my figs hold up really well in the wash. I wash them probably 15 plus times. I wash them every week after I wear them. You just never know what gets on your clothes like when you're doing dentistry and stuff. I haven't experienced any pilling or any breakdowns of the fabric, so I do definitely say that they're long lasting. Like I've been wearing some of these scrubs since last September. So when you first take the scrubs out of the bag, they might have a little fold mark on them, but after you wear them and wash and dry them at least once, they have no issues with wrinkles or like crinkles or anything. Wrinkles and crinkles. So let's start off with the tops. This is the Katarina one pocket scrub top and this is definitely my favorite. I recommend this one over the one with the pockets on the bottom because this one can be easily tucked into the pants without like interfering with the pockets. And I just like the pocket placement of this one. I think it's a very nice, simple, sleek look. It has a little v-neck in the front. It's not too deep of a V. I think it's like the perfect length. This is the new space gray color. If you can't tell, I only have gray scrubs because at my dental school, like each class wears a different color and I'm the gray class. So luckily Figs does have like, this is the fourth gray they've come out with this year. So I've been pretty set with grays. So it has one pocket in like the left breast area. It does have a little Figs logo on the pocket. And then all of the tops have a little Figs little cross logo on the right sleeve. And the back has kind of two little dart details. It's definitely not a fit and flare design, which I've already said I hate, but I still think it has like somewhat of a feminine shape, so. In terms of sizing, I think everything runs a little bit big with figs. I think for the most part, it's true to size. I do wear a size small on tops and bottoms, but if you're in between, I would definitely size down. A lot of my classmates went with their like upper end of the size range when they were buying their scrubs and then they ended up being giant on them. So I definitely would recommend sizing down if you're unsure. So here's the Katarina one pocket scrub top. As you can see, it's a nice V. It doesn't go too deep, but it still shows off like a little bit of this region. 
this is a size small and it just kind of like drapes over like my boob region it's not too tight it's really not too tight anywhere i wouldn't size down because it'd probably be too tight here and i definitely wouldn't size up because if anything it's a little loose so here it is untucked it does go down pretty long but that's honestly kind of nice because it allows you to tuck it in without it like pulling out every five seconds so it's a pretty boxy shape when you don't tuck it in but when you tuck it in But when you tuck it in, the waistband just kind of gives you a little more of a waist and it's less like boxy this way. So this is my preferred way to wear it. I like the one pocket top because the pocket doesn't interfere with me tucking it in. And yeah, like it's not like form fitted or tight or anything, but like they're scrubs. They don't need to be like, I don't know, body con, you know? Also, this is embroidered with my school logo. I didn't get this embroidered through figs. So I had to go through my school to get this done in case you were wondering. So the first pair of pants we're gonna talk about are the Cade Cargo Pants. These are $46 and these are my absolute favorite pair of their pants. They have a little elastic drawstring waist and the drawstring is adjustable. I'd always tie this pretty tight because the waist itself is a little oversized. I, I do have to get a size small to fit my butt and thighs in these, but the waist is a little big. So if you don't really have a big butt or thighs, definitely size down. They kind of have this little front, like little crotch detail. I'm not really sure what that is. They do have two front pockets. And one of my favorite parts of these is the side pocket. They do have a double side pocket on the right side. And I always store my phone in here or my light that comes with my loops. I always put it in here when I'm in operative class. Some of the other pants don't have pockets like this. This is super essential for me. I also like the cargo pants because they have this little slit at the bottom of the leg, which the straight leg pants don't have. And it just kind of makes it fall over your shoes nicely. These ones just have little curved seams around the butt. There are no butt pockets. The cargos are a classic wide leg fit. I personally do get the long version of almost all of the pants because I am tall. It is nice that they have the petite, regular, and long sizes. The long looks long when I'm not wearing shoes, but when I'm wearing shoes, it just like falls over the shoes nicely. So definitely would recommend getting long if you are tall. So here are the Cade cargo pants. As you can tell, they do have kind of a wider fit, but I like that they just don't like restrict my thighs or my legs or anything. So they still do feel really comfortable, but they are still flattering and I don't feel like they're super baggy on me. So I actually really like them. I do have the drawstring on the waist tightened. I'll show you what it looks like without it tightened. So I do have quite a bit of room in the waist when the drawstring is not tightened. So it's really key that they have this drawstring. They have the two front pockets, no back pockets, and then they do have the side pocket. And like I said, I just fit my little phone in the side pocket and it fits really well. And because of the drawstring holding it up, it, this doesn't like weigh the pants down. In terms of length, these are the long version of the pants. I am 5'9", so I am tall. And they do go a little bit beyond my ankle, but I like that because then when you wear shoes, it goes on top of the shoes nicely. I tried the regular length for me and they kind of ended right at my ankle, so they weren't really good enough. And then they have that little slit on the outside, which I like. Here's kind of an up close of the waistband. These scrubs do go higher up than a lot of other scrubs. They're kind of a mid high rise. They go right below my belly button. And a lot of other scrubs I tried just were very low waist and I hate low waist. So if you like higher waist, these pants are definitely better than other scrubs. Next, we have these Zamora joggers, which are also $46. These are probably their most popular style. Everyone loves the joggers. They have this soft little cuff at the bottom and they do taper. They have the same waistband as the cargo pants. They also have a drawstring. They have two front pockets and these also have two butt pockets. They also have this little secret internal pocket for like a ring or any valuables and that's on the inside of the waistband. I think the other pants have those as well though. That's not like unique to the joggers. These have the same kind of little crotch detailing that doesn't really do anything. These have a pocket on the side of the right pant as well, but this one is a zipped pocket and I have to say it doesn't fit quite as much as the one in the Cade Cargos because they're a little tighter on the leg. So I just kind of can't like stuff as much in it but it's still there and it still does work. And again, it has a little cup at the bottom. This is the color cement. This is my favorite scrub color. So here are the Zamora joggers. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of the pants. The only thing is I don't get to wear these super often. In lab, I have to have long socks on. And sometimes I feel like the joggers don't really look great with long socks underneath. I feel like they look better with like an ankle sock and kind of show off a little bit of your ankle. So just keep that in mind if you have to wear long socks. The joggers definitely aren't my favorite for that. 
I do wear the joggers in the regular length and not the tall length because I like that it shows off a little bit of my ankle and the tall jogger version was like way too long for me. I would go with a shorter size if you are getting the joggers. Same waistband as the cargos, same front pockets. Again, it has the side zip pocket and as you can see, it's just like a lot tighter on my leg so you really can't fit as much in this. I do have bigger thighs and I'm able to make these work for me but if you have like really, really big quads or something, the joggers might be a little tight on you. As you can see, they definitely are more slim fitting than the cargo pants. Especially in the calves, you can see I have big calves and these are definitely tight on them, which at first I thought it looked bad, but I've kind of gotten used to it and I don't really think it's super noticeable. So yeah, they have a pretty snug fit all the way down the legs. They're not restricting, but if you are looking for a looser fit, I would either size up in the joggers or just go for the cargo or the Livingston pants. These do have the butt pockets as well. And yeah, they hit right above my ankle for these and this is the regular length. They just definitely are a more like snug fit than the other pants. Next, we have the Livingston Basic Scrub Pant. I like this one, but if I had to pick between this and the Cade Cargo, I'd definitely go with the Cade Cargo. It has the same simple waistband. This one doesn't have any front pockets. The only pockets on the entire pant are the two butt pockets. And then it's literally plain down the entire leg. Like there's nothing going on. It doesn't have that little slit in the ankle either. These are just super, super basic. They give my legs a little less shape than the Cade Cargos, which is why I don't like them as much. Um, but they're okay, they're just like not my favorite of the pants. Again, I just wanted you to see before I tighten these that even though these are a size small, which is like my normal pant size, and they fit me really well in the legs and the butt, the waistband itself honestly just has a ton of space. And this has been the case with like all my friends too. Like they just like, are a little bit roomy in the waist. So so the drawstring can definitely fix that, it's, except sometimes when I tighten the drawstring, how tight it really needs to be, the pants can kind of get a little like bubbliness to them, if that makes sense. So just keep that in mind if that bothers you. It doesn't really bother me because I still like the pants, but it's definitely not like the perfect fitting waist. This is just your classic straight leg pant. There's really not much to these. This is the long version and this is how long they are on me. They have no front pockets, no side pockets. They just have the two little butt pockets. I wouldn't say these give a whole lot of shape to the legs. They're pretty basic. They're not really my favorite. I don't feel like they're really doing much for me, but if you just want a basic pair of scrub pants, these are basic. And lastly, the Yola skinny pant. I think this might be my actual least favorite out of all of them. Don't get me wrong, like these look really good on a lot of people, but if you have bigger legs, these will not work for you. They're slimmer all the way down the leg and they also taper as you can see. And for me, I have very like athletic big calves and these definitely hug my calves like a little bit too much, like it's a little restricting. I'm also not in love with the waistband on these. They don't have a different color waistband as you can see and it's made of the same material as the rest of the scrub pants. Each one has front pockets. This one has a little ring pocket on the outside and then this one has a little ring pocket on the inside. And then the back of the waistband is kind of this elastic thing, which I just don't think is the cutest. You'll see when it's on, especially since I like to tuck in my top. You can't really cover this with the top if it's tucked in. These do have two butt pockets. And then on the left leg, it has kind of the little double cargo pocket. And on the right side, it has the single zip pocket like the joggers. And these also have the little slit at the bottom of the leg that kind of helps it like go over your shoes a little better. So here's a close up of the waistband. If you don't like the look of the elastic waistband, this one just has one that matches with the scrub band. Again, I don't really love this like kind of ruched elastic on the back of this waist, but I mean, if it doesn't bother you. As you can see, these are just much tighter all the way down the leg than any of the other pants. The joggers might be somewhat comparable, but I think if you have bigger legs, the skinny pant is not gonna be good for you. The only people in my class I've seen wear these have really skinny legs, and then they still kind of look like they kind of drape on their legs and they look really nice. I feel like for me, it's tight on the thighs, I have a little bit of room in the knees, and then it's tight on my calves again, and it just kind of looks a little bit funny. So these are really cute if you have the right legs for it. I personally just don't, and I wouldn't go for these if you have more athletic legs. I do like the pockets though. They do have front pockets with secret pockets. They have butt pockets, they have the double cargo pocket, and they have the zip pocket. So they have a ton of pockets, which I love, and they have the little slit at the bottom of the leg. These are the long version. As you can see, they're pretty long. 
So yeah, these aren't my personal favorite for me, but they are cute. Okay guys, so that is it for the Figs scrub review. I definitely like some of their scrubs better than others, and some styles are definitely better for athletic body types and some are not. So I hope this video could be helpful if you had any questions about figs or anything. Again, this isn't sponsored. I bought all of this with my own money. I just own a lot of their scrubs because I wear scrubs a lot and I happen to like these. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any other reviews, let me know down below. And if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of activewear reviews and I do quite a few dental school vlogs as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!